Coach Ian Robinson, if you have any questions, please raise your hand. You can microphone. There's a reminder we do have simultaneous transition available in English and Spanish if needed. Questions for you? Hey, James, uh, about NIT. Coach, uh, go in the first few seconds and then uh, equalizer in the last few seconds. Um, what are your overall impressions of the first 95 minutes and then the difficulty of the? see that the legs were starting to get tired by the end of the game naturally so psychologically uh, psychological blow to get this goal to concede this goal in the end and we kind of saw it both mentally and physically in the second half that we were missing the power we had in, in, in the 95 minutes but still we had chances to score even even though we, we conceded conceded goals in the in the extra time but I think the boys can be can be uh, proud of the performance. Uh, we feel that the game was finished before this corner came, but but that's the referee who decides that when when the game finishes. Yes, coach. Um, Taron Davis from Sports Down the Middle. Um, what was your strategy to close off the game? And knowing that you were leading and we see that uh, in Chicago the same thing happened you were leading and the team score um, US score and equalize and that game draw and tonight you were leading and we see that they score so what would just what would your strategy to close off the game the strategy the strategy what strategy you, you, you implemented to close off the, this game well, the strategy we played, you, you, could, you could see the formation, the movements, the, the, the cooperation between the players was, was really good. So we, we closed all areas for them. The US look a lot for playing inside into the middle zone and we closed them there, gave them no space and no time on the ball in dangerous moments. So that, that worked the whole time. Uh, and this goal in the end has nothing to do with tactical uh, strategy. So we, I think we, or we, or they did it perfect uh, in, in this moment. I, I felt like we had the game, even though US had some some more ball possession, but we had the game the whole time. Okay. Uh, another question. We see you putting on. Do you have a question? Okay, sorry. Uh, we see you putting a uh, cool burn. <coughs> And then we see you take him off. Was that an error to put him on and then take him off back? 
No, he, he, I think he pulled a hamstring or a groin or something during one of the sprints. So it was a, it was a bad to need two changes because it was a lot of tired legs, but it was a necessary change to take him off. He, he, he pulled something in his groin. What to ask coach about uh, Lowe, the, the role that he had today, uh, sort of destroyer in a lot of ways, and he did a lot of destroying. When did you sort of have the idea to, to put him in that position where he, he was given so much flexibility to sort of find where the spaces might be and try and limit them? No, he, he played this against uh, Canada for uh, in the second half uh, and did a good job. So it's, it's a good option. We, like I said, we are missing some players, so we, we wanted uh, him to play in this position. It was a little bit first half. He was all over the pitch, maybe too much, or he, his legs was tired. But this guy is such a warrior. Even though he was probably finished, I, I don't like to look at his GPS after this match. But but even after 90 minutes, he still continued to. To do all he could for 120 minutes, uh, but no, he, he was just one of the guys that had a brilliant performance today. And yeah, I, I think when so many players are missing, you know, we need players to step up. And he was one of them. I understand if you want to focus on third place game instead of Copa America, but looking into the next tournament. You did mention that Leon Bailey would be someone considered for the next tournament. Since the last time we talked to you, he's made some public statements. I wanted to know if anything has changed in your posture or, or what you maybe make of uh, his potential future for the, the summer. No, I hope. I hope. That was from us uh, the, the whole time. It was just this camp. Uh, from, from us, I hope he will play for a lot of years for, for, for Jamaica. He's at the moment the Jamaica's hottest player, so I hope. But it's up to him to decide now. Marvin. Marvin Walters here from Fanside. Coach, um, the Reggae Boys were the last team to beat USA in a semifinals after leading at halftime. What was it like in the dressing room at halftime? Say that question again, sorry. Mm -hmm. The Reggae Boys yeah. is the last team to beat USA in a semifinals after leading at halftime. What was it like in the dressing room at halftime today? Ah, no, it was it was good. It was good. Uh, we felt that we were doing many things well. Uh, it's of course always comfortable to be leading again, uh, but we needed to tweak some things in defense. So we switched uh, Cifas and, and Jamal Lowe's position, uh, uh, and it worked out. Sifas got probably the best chance in the game. Uh, and there are not many players that have his speed, so it worked well because there was a lot of space behind the US defensive line. But overall, we talked about some some fixing uh, fixing some things in tactically, mm -hmm. just a little tweaks in defense, but trying to build up with more bravery when we had the ball. That was what we wanted uh, to change the most at halftime. But overall, I think we, we felt quite good and comfortable playing this game. For, for 95 minutes, I think we felt really comfortable playing this game. Like it like it played, and we prepared this game to be played exactly like this. So, uh, well done, well done to the, to, to the boys. We're gonna move over to take some virtual questions. Andrew Jones, go ahead. Thank you very much, Andrew Jones from the League Network. Um, Demir, the dreams start for you with that great play from Bobby and then to Greg for the goal. You just talk about the way that you were able to jump on them and how that came to your tactical plans 